Hey, it's Guard here, and we are going to winterize our camper. It's a 2023, no boundaries, 19.1 toy hauler. We had it winterized before. We just took a little trip. We're back home. It's going to be cold, and I'm going to winterize it again. Pretty simple. Two gallons of antifreeze, plenty. Make sure you get the Marine, RV Marine. It's safe for your water system. And I have a little little air compressor here just to do one of the little blowouts of one line blowout in particular and the first thing we're going to do is drain everything okay so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to drain the black tank and the gray tank make sure your <laughs> levers are closed So we got that going, and we're going to drain the freshwater tank. So underneath here, I put a brass valve on there also to make it a little easier. So we're just going to rotate that. We're going to open our low points for the system there. All right. We're also going to come in here. I'm going to flip up that. Then I'll just let some drain there. And just a little information. This is that uh, valve I put on my water, freshwater tank drain. I picked that up at Lowe's. Nice little brass fitting. And it's a, this is half inch. So that's what I use. Next we're gonna take out the anode for the water heater. So I've got a one and one sixteenth inch socket. And the anode, this one's pretty much brand new. So you can see it's in really good shape. When it's worn out, it'll be just a little thin metal, little steel rod in there. But so that's done. What is the anode? This this is because of galvanic action, I guess you could say. Um, something has to corrode. And this is a sacrificial corroding device. It, it gives up, it, it corrodes so your tank does. Let's just put that there for a second. Interesting. I've already flushed this out, but uh, if, if you haven't flushed it out, you can also uh, have a little wand you can put in here just to rinse out all the debris that comes out. I've already done that, so I'm not doing it now. So there we go. Everything's drained out. And you can see my freshwater tank still draining. I'm gonna go inside just real quick and open up the faucets. All right, so Deb went inside and she's gonna open up the faucets. You can see how that a lot more water came out. That's just from uh, letting air come through the lines. Okay. And we're gonna let that uh, freshwater tank drain some more. And in the meantime, we're gonna take care of some of the other stuff that has to be done. So okay, so I'm gonna now close my low point drains. 
because everything's come out. I have just a little bit of water coming out of my fresh water tank. And now I'm going to bypass my water heater. So this is a little tough one to film. So let me see if I can just get the camera in here and put on the tripod. So, there's a valve coming out of the water heater. It's pointing toward the water heater right now. And I want to turn it. So it's facing that line. The same thing on the bottom. And then, and then I'm going to close this valve right here, change that direction. So now it'll point toward my pickup line so I can pick up antifreeze out of a bottle. And this is where it's really handy to have a helper because she can go in, that would definitely go in and open up, not open up, but turn on my water pump. Oh, okay. So. I could just put this in here, run it and do it, but having a second person really helps out. Okay, you hang on. Yeah. You hold the camera. Okay. And how long should I run the water pump? The water? Yeah. Right. When I tap on the wall, turn off the pump. Okay. And since my low point drains are closed and my water heater is bypassed, it should just fill up the water lines in the camper itself. Okay, turn on the water pump. Okay. You can see it's draining out the tank. And it did that. Starting with the kitchen sink, we're gonna run both hot and cold until it runs pink. Oh, we're in the toilet. Yeah, of course. We got to do the toilet. Oh, it's pink. It's pink. Okay, now the shower is going to be a little different, okay? Mm hmm. So, what I want you to do is just do hot and cold on the shower. Okay. And then stop. <laughs> So the next thing I want to do is I want to winterize my um, shower miser. So I'm going to turn this down like this so it's pointed down toward the tank. So what we're going to do is I'm going to have Deb turn the water faucet on the hot water faucet, which will run water through the plumbing back and it'll put it into the freshwater tank. So I'm going to go out and watch for pink antifreeze to come out the freshwater tank and I'll tell her to turn off the pump or close that faucet. So. Okay. Okay, so this is going to I'll watch for some pink antifreeze to come out. Okay, there we go. So I got pink coming out, and we'll just let that drain now. 
So at this point, we're almost done. Okay, so the water pump's on. I was gonna just do this shower until some paint comes out. And that's pink. That, that looks pink. Okay, so my second to last, last step, the water pump is turned off. And this is my city water connection. There's this little silver screen in here. And if you can kind of pry it out. There we go, that's what it looks like. And inside there, there's a little white button. And what that is, is it's a check valve. It keeps the water only flowing in this direction. So when you push that check valve in, the water's gonna flow out this way. And it's under pressure right now because the water pump was turned on. It's off now. <laughs> and so it'll spray you, but if you put a paper towel over it, just to kind of catch it, and then stick your finger in there and press that button, wow. Okay, should have bled a little bit off. It's got a lot of pressure on this system. I guess it's, it's got a good water pump. But anyway, since pink came out. <laughs> you didn't watch your jacket. So, all right, so this is my black tank flush. Since we just got back home, I've drained the tank, but I want to give it a good flush. I, I could have done this at the beginning of the video, but I just kind of forgot. This is as long as it gets done. So I'll put that on here. Snug it up. Make sure your black tank valve's open. So we're gonna turn on the faucet. And the black tank valve's open. The water will go through here into the tank. There's a little sprayer inside there. And stuff should start coming out pretty soon. Okay. So we'll just let that flush for a few minutes and then I'll blow some air through there to push all that water out. We'll take this off. this little adapter here so you can put an air hose on it and I'm just gonna screw that in snug that up I've got this little tire inflator I've had this for years and I'm just gonna push any water that's in that line going to the black tank out that could potentially freeze if it's really really cold out so this will just protect that You see there's a little bit of water coming out. Just a little bit. All right. Take that off. <laughs> you about wiped me out there. <laughs> okay. Now, knock me off my feet. Oh, okay. Okay, so I'll remove this little adapter. And then, um, so everything's flushed. I'm gonna take my anode here. I'm gonna just wrap that up in a paper cloth uh, towel, dry it off, and I'll just put that in my box down here. When I go to install it again, I'll need to take off this old Teflon tape here and I'll put some, some fresh Teflon tape on it. Is that so you get a good seal? Yeah, but it just seals it good so it won't leak. Okay. And uh, you can see I 
I, I didn't quite have two gallons to start with, so I used about one one point one gallon and maybe um, almost two gallons of, of uh, antifreeze. And then now I'll just take the rest of this and I'll just pour it in my, my uh, sink drains. I'll probably go buy me another bottle of it because I, I like to put some more in my sink drains. And uh, it's nice to keep your toilet black tank with a lot of liquid in it. So I'll put about uh, half a gallon or maybe a gallon in the black tank just to keep it wet down there. So that's pretty much it on winterizing. If you got any questions, just uh, leave a comment in the uh, in the remarks there. Hope you enjoyed it. Take care. Bye.